Talking about the police officers, let's just assume jumping over the fence to try to get a hold of the guy to say, my goodness, your wife has been killed, and maybe seeing some evidence there that would link him to it. Well, from the police perspective, we don't know what happened in L.A. We're all we're speculating. So I'm going to speculate. Suppose they went there, and when they did not receive uh, any information that someone was in the house, they thought maybe, maybe O.J. Simpson was in trouble. All right? An emergency circumstance. There are exceptions to the search warrant. So maybe during a police emergency, they entered that particular compound. Upon entering the compound, became aware of what they perceived to be evidence. At that point, they have a perfectly legal right to freeze the premises and go and secure a search warrant to conduct the proper police search. But I don't know what's in their mind, but that's a defense affidavit. Let's see what the prosecutor right. presents as justification for those officers being in the Simpson compound. Well, wouldn't they, they would, have the right just as part of their investigation to go over to O.J. Simpson's house and yeah, check it out? But but once you once you climb over a fence, there's got to be there's got to be a reason for that. My reason would be emergency. Maybe he's in trouble. Maybe maybe there's other victims. Okay, this is an ongoing police emergency in, con in conjunction with a homicide investigation. We we're not attorneys. We but operate. With, with, with probable cause and, and, and reasonable grounds to believe, and, and we make these split-second decisions that you're going to see conducted for the next three weeks, preliminary hearings, <laughs> deciding what this your high <laughs> tide is always. It's great. Uh, I hope it's not more than three I, weeks. I, this whole case is without precedent. I think you'll agree. I don't think you've ever seen anything like so, this. But, 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 I mean, this, the Menendez <laughs> brothers, uh, I'm sure, generated just as much publicity in, in Los Angeles and, Nobody and their knew the grand Menendez jury. brothers. Everyone knows O.J. Simpson. They know uh -huh. the image they saw on TV. What they don't know is the O.J. Simpson behind the image on TV. Would you suspect that the chief of police in L.A. is in a little bit of hot water over this? Well, my personal opinion about the chief of L.A. is over his head, because anyone who would stand up in front of the national news media and say that O.J. Simpson was not a primary suspect is out to lunch. I'm sorry. <laughs> the whole world knew that he was a primary suspect. Uh, that was an attempt to defuse the media situation. It, it, it backfired big time. I would think that, uh, at the very least, the Los Angeles Police Department has to be looking at some of the procedures from uh, no, uh, as, as to how they handle. Uh, I don't think any. Aspects. I don't think any police department in the world, including the NYPD, could handle this. This is this is overwhelming. This this, this changes by the minute. Yeah, <laughs> changes yeah. by the day. Well, let me ask you something. How unusual is it to go back to a crime scene over a week later and find blood? traces on the ground. It's not unusual it's at all. It's not unusual. I've gone back to crime scenes many times. You know, there's an ongoing investigation, most of which we're not privy to. We're sitting over here guessing, speculating, <laughs> entertaining. All right, the bottom line is there may have been new information that allowed them to get further probable cause to get another search warrant to go back and look for something else. I know personally from my experience as a homicide man, many times we go back to the scene because we know, who knows what's important on the day of the event. It is only during the subsequent interviews that you find out, hey, we missed something, we got to go back.